so welcome back to the channel we have got a Christmas special for you you probably notice by the thumbnail what we're doing so we are in Shrewsbury at St Chad's Cathedral beautiful place and just as we're coming in a woman and a man were coming out husband and wife and uh, he was going do you know there's a grave in there for Ebenezer Scrooge well, like, that's what we've come for. And uh, the woman that his wife was uh, around here when they were filming it, and she said in the churchyard they'd put fake snow, and then in the town they'd put false fronts on the shops, and a lot of the town people were actually in it. So we are going to find Ebenezer Scrooge's grave. They said it's just off a path. Yeah, to the left. To the left, to the left. So you go to the left. So everyone is really helpful. We keep walking past people and going, it's just over there. It's like they knew yeah. what we're here for. I'm going to show you around this church I thought. It's not very big, which is good for us. We'll be able to find it easier. It's very overgrown in here, isn't it? Yeah, it could do the bit of uh, TLC. What a gorgeous place. So, so this was filmed for the 1984 Christmas Carol featuring George C. Scott. It's not convenient, and it's not fair. If I were to hold back half a crown from your pay for it, you'd think yourself ill-used, I'll be bound. But you don't think me ill-used when I pay a day's wages for no work. So it's where he meets the ghost of Christmas future. It's not hard. <laughs> so we shall find it for you we shall. but this is an absolutely beautiful place it's taken us ages to get here ages, ages and ages I love gravestones you know like the old ones mm. they're just so much nicer I don't think that's it. We've found it. Here it is. Ebenezer Scrooge's grave. So the story, what I've heard, is this grave was getting very worn. As you can see, you can't even read it there. So they've done this for the film and they've just kept it there ever since. So Ebenezer Scrooge actually has his very own grave here in Shrewsbury so if you come in this way where we did you just walk down you can either cut across you can tell by around. this path coming across here to the grave yeah so. it's weird to think people come to this grave more than all the other people's yeah. and this isn't actually a real human is it well it is in the grave but they've come here for Ebenezer yeah. Something informs me that the moment of our parting is at hand. I know it, but I know not how. Christmas Ebenezer Scrooge yeah. grave vlog. It's like I said, the woman that we met coming in, she um, she said they put all fake snow down, and did you say the front of Bob Cratchit's house was here? But they put um, a different front on it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they had different frontage. Which I snaps. think they filmed a bit of the town, but she said it was all done up. Yeah. So you won't be able to really tell. You wouldn't recognise it, obviously. Finally made it, we've been wanting to come here for how long? Ages. Too long. 
Yeah. We've driven a long way <laughs> to come to see Ebenezer yeah. Scrooge's grave. Love it. There's Tina taking her million photos of the grave. Eggs. <laughs> So we're just walking out and Twitch show these gravestones actually on the path. So obviously someone's buried here, which I think is quite sad. Yeah. It's, you know, someone's grave and everyone's walking over it. But honestly, they have some of the best gravestones that I've seen. I'm just going to walk across that road and show you across there because it is so beautiful. Yes, yeah, so if you come in this entrance, you just walk down there and it's just off to your left there. So easy to find. I'm so glad it wasn't a large um, cemetery. But then I thought we could have done a grave rubbing and I'm a bit miffed because we've got no paper. No chalk. No chalk or charcoal or crayon. But we have we memories. We do, we do. And we've got it all on this. Yes. <laughs> but we didn't film the drive coming in because we're too busy looking for the place. But honestly, this place is beautiful. It's like, it is like from a Christmas carol, isn't it? It's all very Victorian, Edwardian. Actually, this little park across here. Yeah, so down there we drove up this way and there's loads of beautiful little shops and buildings. Alright mate? Look at that. Stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. <laughs> So I'm going to do is show you these little houses down here. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at the windows. Lovely quaint little place. Look at the tiny windows up there. They are so sweet. <laughs> you could just imagine them dancing down here to a little Christmas carol number. Yeah, so you could just imagine there having Marley and was it Scrooge and Marley? <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you a shot going up as well. How lovely! It's well lovely. Lovely. Yeah, that building there looks like it's under construction. Oh, yeah. Baz has spotted this building. 
mapped across the road to show you a better picture. Try not to get run over. Oh, that is a nice building. Look at that one there. Look at the detail even up there. Ten forty. Wow. But I love this one here. It's well. It's got all like um. It's got a little lantern hanging outside. Very Charles Dickens. So we are in Hickory's Smokehouse and the menu is like a newspaper. That's good though because the first step is the issue. And we are sat right by the kitchen there. But it's an absolutely beautiful place and they do NFL Sundays so Baz is quite happy. So the waitress has just been and she's left us a bottle of water and this. How cute is that? Hey. And popcorn. So the cheese on this burger is beautiful, the burger's good, the chips is all so good, and it comes in these little metal baskets, Baz is uh, chowing down on the coleslaw, I love the coleslaw. But these are a good idea. They've got the kitchen rolls all along the bar. These are brilliant. I'm gonna try that. Yeah? Yeah, I'll So I've got the churros with a hot chocolate sauce. That's very fancy, don't you think? Baz got the chocolate fudge cake and it has Rocky Road on it as well. And there's cream and there's ice cream and there's chocolate sauce. No. I buy that for a dollar. 
Hard rock. Thank you. Thank you. So we are done at Huckleberry, not Huckleberries, taking of York. Ooh. Nice. So there's that's Hickory's. That place is amazing. What would you give them out of 10? A good nine and a half. Easy nine and a half, yeah. yeah well the only thing, the only reason why it's about 10 is because I think it was the manager there. When I got my pudding, I didn't get a spoon with it. Um, he asked me, would I like a spoon? And I'm still waiting for him to get me a spoon. Yeah, he never bought your spoon. Luckily, one of the other waitresses saw that I had no spoon and she came up to me and said, would you like a spoon? So we got a spoon. So we got a spoon. The food is brilliant, theming, music, everything. Yeah. Apart from the spoon service. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching this vlog. I'll uh, spin you around. Yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Yep. And if you did like it, please like, share, comment, subscribe. All Hit that, that goodness. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video.